Okay, we'll come back and we'll take a swatch of hair. You'll see a lot of tires mention so many pencils of hair. This is how we measure hair with a number two pencil like you use in school, okay? This is probably about two pencils worth right here just for demonstration purposes. I can handle m much more hair, but it's, if you can see the end of that, about two pencils worth. Okay, I don't need the tips for that, for the tail, so I'm gonna cut these off. And I'm going to spin this to show you what happens when you spin it all the way around the shank. That's what we call spinning hair. Okay. Now this one's going to have a solid white collar. Okay. And you, you'll see me stack them up. And I'm going to do that for me, do this for you on the next set so you get an idea of the stacking process. It's very repetitive. We do the same, same thing. We come in, we brush it out. Now that stroke, the hair went all the way around the shank, okay? If you'll notice, I cocked this at about a 45 degree angle, okay? Now on this one, I'm gonna take my three wraps, okay? And I'm going to, and I didn't squeeze on it, I'm going to gently let it roll all the way around that shank. And you can see that? I come in here with my forefinger, grab it, pull it back, cinch it down. Okay. Put my finger right on top, rock it around a little bit. As you can see, that view, there's no hair on the top, very little. Come back in, put that down where you can see that. You can see the top of that shank. Okay, let's pick some green. It's gonna be a chartreuse looking little fly. Come back in, same amount of hair for this first one that you put on the bottom. So this is kind of gonna balance out a little bit. I'm gonna come back in on the same center point of where that hair is spun. I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna lay it right in the middle Come right straight down, and I'm going to pull straight down and not let it go, okay? I'll take a wrap right there. Now, this is the stacking part. You'll see a lot of tires say, well, what's, what's the difference between stacking and spinning? Okay, you saw, me, you saw me spin it around the shank. Now, this is where you get your variegated colors. And they'll say, well, Ken, how'd you put that spot in there? How'd you get that little spot? Or how'd you get the, uh, the stripes? Okay. I'm gonna add another layer. This is gonna be black. Pretty much the same amount of hair as I did the last time. And what I'm gonna do, come in the same, same midpoint. Now this time, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put my thumb up there and I'm gonna rock it around a little bit. I want this hair to spread out and I'm gonna pull it straight down. Now what this does, this gives a widening of the, of the black spot that you'll see. Now I'm just for show purposes, I'm gonna use white. I'm gonna take probably a half a pencil of hair. Now I'm gonna twist this a little bit, okay? And this is gonna be pretty tight. But they asked me, they said, well, how'd you get that little bitty spot? Okay, here's how it goes. You watch me spread that out. Now I'm gonna hold it right in the center, come right straight down, I'm gonna hold it and pop it. There's my little white spot. Now when I cut this, hopefully if it comes out right, you'll see a little white spot, okay? Put my fingers in here, roll it back, and squeeze it, and I'm gonna take two wraps. I'm gonna half hitch it, and cinch it down. Okay, I come in, put me a little cement right in that thread spot, and uh, start another one.
pretty much white on the bottom. You can see it, you know. Now to just give it a little variation, let's say, well, okay, I want to stripe all the way around it. Okay, I'm going to use about half of this. I'm going to make it a thin stripe. I'm going to even up the tips again. Tips off back here. Come in, put it at my 45 degree angle again to the shank. Take my three reps. And what this does, this leaves me space to where I won't hopefully catch those white hairs that's sticking down below. Okay? Take my three reps, squeeze it, roll it around that hook shank, and you'll watch it come right around. You see as I pull it, it starts to spin. Come around, pull it back, take the two reps in front, come down a little bit, throw my half hitch, take my hair packer, and I'm really gonna push this little bugger all the way back to that little bumping point, okay? Just as hard as I can push it. Now you'll notice you got the white spot and you have a little bit more shank than I had to work with. So when, when I go to carve this, you want this hair as tight as you can get it. And you see me put the seam in on there, it's just now starting to grab that hair and starting to set up. It didn't take very long. And it's kind of a repetitive process. We come back and you, you can kind of mix and match it as you go. You can, um, the, the fun thing about this is you can mix and, mix and match these colors. You can carve them up, you can shape them up. It's up to you. And for me, it's therapeutic and it's a lot of fun and as you can tell I'm going a little bit faster where we can go ahead and kind of finish this up Most of the time, if, if I'm going to fish these flies, I like to put a, something, uh, either a white face or a chartreuse face, something I can see at a, at a good distance. Now I'm pretty close to being right there on that hook eye. And this is where I use my hands. I come in and I'm actually using my thumb and my forefinger tighten this up a little bit. I'm actually pulling that hair back to where I can come in there and get real close. Now you'll notice I'm at a 45 degree angle. I'm not straight. I'm coming at an angle. I come down at that angle and I know just about where that hook eye is and I come up, grab it, make two wraps and cinch it right down there in front. And Luckily I caught the hook of that eye come up, cinch it down, I'm going to brush it back a little bit, and I'm pulling back pretty hard, I'm going to come in and grab the point of that, the ball of that eye and let it roll right under the top of that thread. Come back, take my packer, and it's getting pretty tight now. Come in at an angle and try to catch it right on that hook eye. Come up, cinch it down. Okay.